Hi, my dear children. Are you all ready to learn science? Okay, we will start today's class. So, we were studying about force, work and energy. And we have already done about force. We have studied about work also. Now, we are moving to the last topic of this chapter that is energy. We usually say when our mother asks us to do something to help her or to do any other work, what will we say? Sorry, mama, I don't have enough energy to do that. I am not in that situation. I don't have any energy to do that, right? That is what we always make the excuse. But then what is energy? According to science, energy is the capacity to do work. It is the ability to do work is called energy. So what is energy? It is the ability to do work. So what is work actually? Work is said to be done. If the force is producing any effect on the object on which we are applying the force. So, a worker said to be done if the applied force is producing any changes on the body. So, for making that changes, the force should be effective, right? And for making a force effective, what we need? We want energy. And it is this energy, that is energy is the ability to do our work. That is, energy is the ability to apply a force that can bring changes on the body on which we are applying the force. So depending upon the source, energy can be classified into different types. Today we are going to study about the different types of energy. So on the basis of the source of energy, energy is classified into various types. They are heat energy, light energy, kinetic energy, potential energy, mechanical energy, electrical energy, wind energy, solar energy, Hydro energy and the geothermal energy. So these are the different types of energy. These are how the energy is classified on the basis of the source of energy. So first we will study about heat energy. From the name itself it is understood right. What is heat energy? It is the energy that we get from heat. How do we cook food? We cook food from gas right. By burning LPG or from wood. Earlier we used wood fire, right? So all this are providing heat and the food is getting cooked with the help of this heat energy. So cooking is an example where we make use of heat energy. Then light energy. How do we get light? When we switch on the switch, what will happen? We can see that the bulb is glowing and we are getting light. So that is an instance where we use light energy. So light energy is the uh, examples like CFL, normal lamps, all these are giving us light energy. Then comes kinetic energy. So when we studied about force, I already told you that there is energy which is possessed by a body which is moving. So that is kinetic energy. It is the energy possessed by a body when it is moving. A moving bus, a moving car, a moving object, whatever be the object, if it is in motion, if it is moving, it possesses kinetic energy. Then Potential energy. What is potential energy? This also I told you in the previous class. That is potential energy is the energy possessed by a body due to its position. A stone that is kept at a particular height. If I hold this object like this, it possesses potential energy. That is the energy possessed due to its position. Then mechanical energy. What is mechanical energy? Mechanical energy is actually a combination of kinetic energy and a Potential energy. It includes both type of energy. For example, water is stored in a dam. If water is stored in a dam, it has both potential energy and kinetic energy, right? Because the water is stored at a particular height. Since it is in a particular higher position, it possesses potential energy. Potential energy is the energy due to position. So, the water is stored at a level of height, so it possesses potential energy. And when the shutters of the dams are open. What will happen? This water will be flowing with a great speed. So now it is possessing kinetic energy. So the water stored in a dam has both potential energy as well as kinetic energy. That means it is a combination of potential energy and kinetic energy which comes mechanical energy. So mechanical energy is the energy which is a combination of both potential energy and the kinetic energy. Then Electrical energy that we all know, right? Electrical energy is the energy that we get from electricity. And we make use of this electrical energy for using most of the house appliances like washing machine, TV, fridge, then 
bulb, tube light, all this work with the help of this electrical energy. Then wind energy. Have you ever gone to Tamil Nadu area? You could have seen large windmills kept on open spaces. Why? This is for generating electricity from the speed of wind. In that area, there are hilly areas, so there will be more speed for the wind and this wind energy can be converted into electrical energy. What is wind by the way? Yes, it is a moving air is called a wind and in Tamil Nadu region we can see lot of windmills installed which can produce electricity from this energy of the wind. So, there is an instance we make use of wind energy for producing electricity. Then solar energy. That we all know, right? Sun is the ultimate source of energy. We have already heard this term many times in our life. So, why do we say that sun is the ultimate source of energy? We know that it is the sun that provides light for the whole universe. Sun is providing light for the whole universe. And we make use of the solar energy for our daily purposes. We know we get vitamin D from sunlight. Then we know that plants prepare food with the help of sunlight. Using sunlight, carbon dioxide and water, plants prepare food. What is the name of that process? Yes, it is photosynthesis. And it is through photosynthesis that the plants prepare food. And this food, uses, food that is prepared by the plants is made used by all organisms, whether it is herbivores, carnivores or omnivores. We all depend on plant for food directly or indirectly. So we can say that sun is the ultimate source of energy. Also now with the development of technology, we have found out that solar energy can be also converted into electrical energy that we install solar panels for converting the solar energy into electrical energy as well. So sun is the ultimate source of energy and the energy that we get from the sun is called a solar energy. Then hydro energy. We have heard this term hydro, right? Hydro means water and the energy possessed by moving water is called a hydro energy that if the water is in motion, if it is moving, it has hydro energy. How do we uh, create electricity from water? We know that the water is stored in height in dams and when we open the shutters it passes very fastly. It can move very fastly and with this help of the speedy water we can produce electricity. So there we are making use of hydro energy that is water is getting converted into electricity. The energy from water is getting converted into electricity. Now geothermal energy. So what is geothermal energy? We know that the inner part of the earth is very hot and there is hot water present inside that. The water inside the earth that is underground water will be very hot and the energy that we are, this energy, this, this heat energy of this water can be used for several other purposes like creating electricity that is like producing electricity and all. So the heat that is Inside the earth that is called a geothermal energy. Geo means earth. You know that right? You have studied in social science that the word geo means earth. And geothermal energy is the heat energy that we get from the inner part of the earth. That is from deep inside the earth. That is heat energy and this heat energy can be made use of for producing electricity. That is geothermal energy. So these are the different types of energy that we study today. Energy is the ability to do work and Types of energy that is energy can be classified into different types on the basis of the source of energy. They are heat energy we get from heat, light energy from light, kinetic energy that is the energy possessed by a moving body, potential energy, energy possessed by an object due to its position, mechanical energy that is a combination of kinetic and potential energy, then electrical energy that we get from electricity, wind energy from wind, solar energy from sun, Hydro energy from water and geothermal energy from the heat that comes from within the earth. So these are the different types of energy. So in this chapter we studied about force, different types of force. Then we studied about work and now we studied about energy also and different types of energy as well. So we have completed the chapter. So dear students, please read the textbook and ensure that you are very thorough with all the terms that we come across in this chapter. Okay. So we will meet again in the next class with a new chapter. Thank you dears.